Um, I, one area where uh, I know a little bit about this is, is the issue of local government costs, cost to communities and, uh, and government uh, entities. Uh, so I was interested to find that uh, although we have given detailed comments to, uh, to the, the budget director of New York State, uh, to DEC officials directly uh, about concerns about not just road and bridge maintenance and repair, which seems to be the only thing that they've actually paid much attention to, but also cost to health depart local county health departments, uh, indirect impacts on property tax values, on, um, uh, on community character, on uh, uh, actually on, on mortgage holders, where we think that you know we there's already evidence that people with mortgage um, mortgages, if they sign a gas lease. Uh, in many cases, they may be actually abrogating the terms of their mortgage. Uh, insurance issues where people, where insurance companies are not uh, supporting, not, not um, uh, covering activities related to gas drilling or uh, land where there is, uh, is a lease. Uh, and uh, homelessness, uh, one of the issues of, of you know, crime uh, in Pennsylvania, we see, um, you know, there's lots more activity uh, for uh, first, of first responders for uh, law enforcement um, and for social services, because so many of the jobs are filled by people who come from other states. Uh, the people who lived there before the local people are pushed out of their homes. So, um, local uh, local governments are having to uh, somehow deal with folks who have uh, decided the only way to to survive is to live in their car and give up their children to foster care. So these are some of the effects that, uh, that we have uh, seen in other places. We're unfortunately very upset that the, um, that the regulations uh, say that while the proposed re revised regulations do not mandate the expenditure of funds by any sector of local government, local governments will likely incur some indirect effects as, as a result of the department's approval to utilize high volume hydrofracking. Well, there's nowhere in either the regulations or in the S guys where they bother to calculate uh, what those costs might be. Uh, a huge gap in, in the documentation. Uh, and every one of us is a taxpayer. I think uh, that's a comment all of us might want to, uh, to make. So, I, I will mention that elected officials to protect New York is a group that we got started in um, back in June. Local elected officials. We now have uh, representatives from every county in New York State. A big shout out to Dominic Frangillo from uh, town of Caroline for really getting this going. Um, so, yep. so we've been asking for a meeting with the governor. The industry's had their meeting, at least one that we know of, with the governor. Um, nobody, anybody knows from the other side has had a meeting with the governor yet. We, we're still trying, um, but we are, we are deeply concerned that, um, that a health impact assessment hasn't been done, that a cumulative environmental impact assessment hasn't been done, and that they looked at the benefits, the so-called economic benefits of fracking, but didn't bother to look at the costs. Um, so, so much for being fair and balanced. Um, but that's, if, if you're interested in that, uh, in New York uh, in elected officials to protect New York, the website is nyelectedofficials.org. I will say that many, many, maybe most of the local elected officials from Tompkins County are already signed on. Um, but anybody else out there, if you, if you uh, can find a village official or uh, highway superintendent, any elected official uh, is welcome to sign on, nyelectedofficials.org. Um, 